everything's really friendly and helpful as soon as you get here. You've got a lot more freedom, I think, in the world, especially with your password and stuff. I really liked it at GCSE. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Because yeah, you kind of you learn stuff and then you notice it just like yeah. in everyday stuff. Yeah. yeah, I've loved it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change my subjects. Uh, well, I've always really liked English and uh, when I came to the open day, the staff were really friendly and I liked the look of the, the text that we could do and then uh, no regrets. <laughs> Language acquisition was definitely, for me, the most interesting one because it's just like interesting getting to grips with learning how children acquire the English language. Like, mm -hmm. it's do you ever find that sometimes you're like near a child and you pick up on stuff and yeah. you're like, I know what you're doing <laughs> there? Well, I love it though because, particularly because you can see the similarities between the like between English and French as well. Like, I can see when I'm getting easier. yeah yeah when yeah. I'm getting stuck with something in French and I'm like right well I know that that's a prepositional phrase and that needs to do blah 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 yeah. so and like I can look at any of my like text now and just be like that's that that's that that's that, 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 that. Yeah. it's quite weird really but it's like extra respect so. <laughs> it is different very well. as Lisa would say like we're in the grammar tree yeah <laughs> yeah it's quite like when you take a sentence and you can say what every single word in that sentence is, what type it is, mm -hmm. how it's working, yeah. Yeah. it's quite... You feel a bit empowered, don't you? Yeah, you're yeah. like... <laughs> so my English grammar, it helps, it helps a lot when I'm learning foreign languages. We're doing global English at the moment, which is incorporated kind of into my degree because I'm going to do English language at TESOL. And, and it's just like a lot of discussions about um, the descriptivist and the prescriptivist debate of English which I wasn't aware of before because it's Like we're doing here at the moment, um, in Midsummer Night's Dream, and that's literally like my favourite play ever. Midsummer Night's Dream is just, it's cheerful and it reminds you about how beautiful things can be. <laughs> like the way you learn about it, but it's more interesting. You know, we're here, it's more smart details, so rather than just read the book, the teacher telling you what to do, write an exam, it's more fun now yourself and taking a dull perspective. At the same time, you don't have to be someone who's read like everything, who's read all the classics, um, but you've, you've got to be someone who enjoys what you do read and thinks about it more. It's more grown up from yeah. high school, if you understand the human condition better. Oh. Yeah. Because um, yeah. there's like stuff that I wouldn't have ever picked up if I just read it myself. Yeah. <laughs> you can develop your own ideas and yeah. you have so much more time to, to yeah. think about that. Yeah, I think the English department's like, is very good. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, don't, you don't need much support because the teaching's so good anyway. Within class, yeah. you don't yeah. need anything else yeah. like extra. Even yeah. though it's always there, when it's always given. You don't need it. because the, I like both language and literature and it seemed an easy way just to combine them both together. Well, I chose it so that I could do other subjects as well. Yeah. English was something I loved all the time. I was quite a good at high school. Mm -hmm. So when I came to college, I said, okay, the texts were a lot harder. Obviously. I think it's not that difficult because you get taught it at a really nice steady pace. It isn't a massive jump. Like a lot, like a lot of the stuff you learn in the first year, it totally helps you in the second year. And you don't realise how much that like, one adjective or one noun or verb makes like such a massive impact on the whole like viewpoint and it's, it's weird like and before I did the course I didn't realise that because you don't do that at GCSE. She's very transparent with the way she teaches, like the feedback, there's none of that oh well yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's not no and then you shut down, it's kind of 
avoid that type thing. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a creative course generally. Yeah, yeah. Like last year we got to do the production task in the exam and this year's section B of the exam is all about translating one text yeah. to another form of text. <laughs> it is quite an enjoyable thing to do, like obviously you're in an exam and that's not enjoyable, mm -hmm. but the task in itself is it's yeah. nice to do, like you can put your own kind of flair on it, you know yours isn't going to be the same as everyone else's. Like, mm -hmm. Coursework was Hamlet and Sylvia Plath, and then Cupcakes is now what we're doing. The exam, mm -hmm. you know, there's some plays, we did a streetcar named Desire, oh, we did yeah. all my sons, I really and the kite winner, 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 that was good. Like we do some transcript work in the first year and that's in the second year paper as well. Uh, I'm doing English literature with creative writing in Liverpool. I'm going on to do English language and linguistics at the um, University of Sheffield. I'm going to study primary teaching at Manchester Met. So definitely having English will be something that I can bring into the classroom for children. Obviously it's such a core subject. I'm doing um, English language and literature at the University of Leeds. <laughs> 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 You don't realise how big it is until you do it, I wouldn't say, but it's, like I said, they make it easier for you. Uh, I thought the leap from Jason to Wilco was like, it was difficult, but you kind of get warned that it's going to be like that. I didn't think we liked Step Up that hard because a lot of the skills at GCSE were like, quite transferable, but I think there are some new aspects of it which I find quite like learn the grammar of it all. Which out like mm, you probably haven't done in high school. I think when the first day levels were like a big yeah. from GCSE. I felt out my subject English was the biggest Really? Yeah. I didn't think of that as much. I yeah. thought it was kind of English was something I loved all the time and I was quite prepared at high school. So when I came to college, it was like, okay, the texts were a lot harder, obviously, because it's what I found. But from AS to A2, it wasn't, the jump wasn't that big. But as long as you like carry on doing it throughout the year, revise. Every time. Yeah, and everyone's like accessibly clever, like no one's like, oh, I'm clever than you. Yeah. So, like, yeah. if I don't understand things like politics or something, someone yeah. will explain it to yeah. me, like, really lovely terms. Yeah. And not make yeah. me feel dumb. Yeah. Like, oh, this is the thing. Like, within the first month, I'd say you're settling. I settled in straight away. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're just like, because I've changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we read a lot, do a lot of wider reading. I think at the start of AS, you get like a reading list. Well, my team gave me a reading list. And like I read a lot of the books on that and that's really helped me. I'd say try and keep up with your work and use all your free time to your advantage mm -hmm. because I know people who I like, got to have a good year and was like having to catch up on everything and like it's like not paid attention to on this or not use the free time to like consolidate it. And then I'd probably just say like just take as many notes as possible. Like even if it's like it seems daft or you think, oh I'll just remember that anyway. Organizing just write everything world. down because yeah, you never know when you'll come back to need it. So. Oh yeah, definitely have a fold a fair bit yeah. everything. Make sure that nothing's mixed mm -hmm. up or confused because then like you get to it and you think I don't know when that was from or what topic it goes with. File it straight away as well. Yeah. Don't stress out, just chill out about it because everything is in the same but Well in English like it's real life like language that you're exploring, like at the minute we're doing a lot on because of the general election, like we're doing a lot on politics and analysing speeches, whereas in literature you're analysing prose that's already been written or poetry from the 1800s. And you can see a language change there, and in English language you do a language change, so that's similar. It like, op somehow all connects together. At uni you, know, you can choose from a variety of things, um, such as, well I particularly want to choose like lang studying language change and variation rather than like um, Old English and World English, so uh, yeah, I'm choosing them. And also, I think Julia said that um, the grammar we've learned will particularly come in there uh, useful at like, university. It'll kind of give like us a bit of a heads up. So, so when it comes to English language, we always do like in the house. We do honestly. It's so nerdy. We do like little things to each other. So, like for example, my mum will say something, and we'll be like. That's such a prescriptivist argument. <laughs> You're a prescriptivist mummy, and she's like, what? <laughs> so I really enjoy that side of it, and like in my eyes, like Shakespeare's like the best. So that's why I'm pretty positive. Mm -hmm.